Hi, everyone, and welcome to day 11. This is Advent of Rust, and we're building a web API. Yesterday, we talked about authentication. So today, we will continue on this topic to see how we can authenticate with a GitHub app to uh, get an access token. So let's dive into the code. So yesterday, we created two routes, one to sign in and one to receive uh, the token via a callback. So let's see how we can use GitHub to add a new um, application so we can get an access token. So first, um, we can go to your uh, GitHub profile. And in your settings, you can go to developer settings. And you can create an OOT app. So let's create a new one. You can name it, I don't know, it's really up to you. Advent of REST for me. The home page URL will be uh, your localhost for now. And the callback is the route that we've created yesterday. So it auth callback. And let's register it. You can see that a new client ID has been generated for you. And we are going to create a new client secret as well. So client ID will be helpful to, um, to uh, get to the uh, app. And the client secrets will be useful to get an access token. So thanks to the client ID, the client secret, and the code that you're going to receive, we will cover that in a moment, you will be able to generate an access token. So make sure we copy those values. And remember, we already talked about environment variable. Uh, we talked about the ports, uh, which is like 8000 or 8080 if you configure the environment variable. And now we are going to add two new ones, so client ID, client secret. So it's not super convenient to have them um, managed by hand. So uh, thankfully, we have um, a crate, which is called dentl. So we can go cargo add dot env. And this would allow us to create a new file. So let's go ahead and create a new file, which is .env. And this is used only during development. And it's like a key value file. So we can say port 8000. And now we can create our new uh, variable. So client, uh, client ID, this one. And our secret as well. So get up client secret ID, and we can copy this one. So cool. Uh, once again, this file.env uh, is like a key value pair to uh, simulate your environment variable. So that's going to be very useful. And since we've now installed our crates, we can go back to the main, and we can uh, use that .env, .env, .ok. This function is exposed for you uh, via uh, .env, so don't forget to use it. So use .env. Um, .env, .env. Yes, so by doing this, it will load for you the end file and populate the environment variable for you. So uh, that's great. There is no need to manually uh, update your environment variable. So now it's it's uh, now that it's done, you can go back to the authentication service. And when we sign in, we are not going to uh, return this is signing anymore, but we are going to redirect to our GitHub app. And to do that, we can follow the documentation. I will put the link on the description. But basically, if you go to the GitHub docs, uh, you can see apps, both apps, and authenticate with OAuth, OAuth app. So what we need to do is to basically redirect to the authorized endpoints. So this is what we are going to do. So we're going to copy this URL. And this is what we need to do in, in signing. So first, what we want to do is um, to uh, build this uh, URL. So the URL of paste as, uh, is containing a uh, client ID. This client ID, uh, we will take it from the environment variable. So uh, let's do that. So std and we can get the variable name uh, client ID. And remember, this is returning a result. If we have a look at this, um, yeah, it's a news for now. But if we have a look at this, once again, this is returning a result. So 
either a string, which will be the environment variable, or an error. So um, we need to match that. And if we have it, that's going to be a OK client ID. And we can return something, maybe uh, this for now. But if it's not OK, if the environment variable is missing, maybe we want to return um, a bad gateway or something like that. So cool. Um, and we need to finish it to build the request. So cool. Now we've matched the client ID. If it's here, we need to do something. If it's not, uh, we're just returning by gateway because we can't authenticate or we can't authorize uh, if we don't have a, a client ID configured. So next, if we have the client ID, we will build um, we will build uh, the um, the uh, URL to redirect to. So we can do URL. It's gonna be format because we are going to concat concatenate two strings. So the first one is this. We can move this. And we don't need the scope user email, so you can remove it. And the client ID will be uh, the client ID that we've just matched. And finally, we don't want to do a OK. We want to do a permanent redirect. We need to append the header. The header would be a tuple. It's going to be location and uh, the URL. And we need to finish it. So basically, when we will hit uh, sign in, we will first check whether or not the client ID is here. Then we will create a URL, which is going to be a GitHub login authorized with the client ID. And then we will redirect to this, uh, this page. So great. We can remove that. So let's, uh, let's, let's try it. If we do cargo run. So let's open a browser just to make sure that the, this is working. So uh, let's go to localhost 87 auth and sign in. Cool. So now it's been uh, redirected to GitHub and uh, we need to authorize this. So the first time a uh, user will uh, uh, need to authorize the application. And then as you can see, it has been redirected to a callback URL, so the route that we've added yesterday with a code. So what this code will be used for, uh, we will cover that tomorrow. But uh, yeah, uh, it's it seems to work. So if we do a sign in again, this time there is no need to authorize the app because it has been already authorized once. So yeah, uh, we've good uh, we've made some uh, good progress in our application. Uh, so tomorrow we will cover what we will need to do in the callback URL. So uh, yeah, that's it for day 11. See you tomorrow for day 12. Have a good one.